Prime Minister Netanyahu and U.S. President Biden held a crucial phone call to discuss the expected Israeli attack on Iran. Amid reported tensions, it was the first call between the leaders since late August. Vice President Kamala Harris, the Democratic nominee for president, joined the two leaders on the call for consideration of targets ahead of an Israeli cabinet vote on the issue. Biden has said that he opposes an Israeli strike on Iran's nuclear facilities or oil infrastructure. Other target options reportedly include military facilities. Israel says it will respond to the Iranian attack on Israel on October 1st when it fired 180 ballistic missiles. The call lasted about 50 minutes. The White House described the call as direct and productive. IDF troops are continuing to advance against Hezbollah positions across South Lebanon. The army announced the death of a reserve soldier in the fighting. Forces from the 36th Division are destroying enemy positions in numerous villages near the border. So far, the forces have eliminated hundreds of terrorists, destroyed underground tunnels, operational infrastructures, and combat complexes where warehouses and weapons were located and destroyed. This drone footage captures the targeted killing of a Hezbollah operative. Air Force jets struck and killed two Hezbollah commanders in Beirut and South Lebanon. One of the slain terrorists is Ahmed Ali, responsible for the firing of hundreds of rockets and anti-tank missiles at the city of Kiryat Shmona. The other was Mohammed Ali Hamdan, commander of the anti-tank corps across the border from Kiryat Shmona. He too was behind many attacks on northern communities. Northern Israel, including the Haifa area, have been under heavy rocket fire in recent days, forcing residents to remain close to shelter. Many schools are closed, forcing parents to remain at home. Most of the rockets have been shot down, but some made direct impact, causing minor injuries and property damages. Meanwhile, all over the country, police are stepping up security in towns and cities of the nation ahead of the Yom Kippur holiday, when much of the population attends synagogue. The recent terror attacks in Hadera, Beersheba, and Tel Aviv in the past week has heightened concerns of attacks by lone wolf Arab terrorists. Experience the power of truth with ILTV News. If you're looking for quality content and captivating visuals, join our news community and become an integral part of our team as we embark on a mission to unveil the real Israel dismantling the web of lies and misinformation that surround reporting on Israel. By subscribing to ILTV News, you will not only have access to the latest updates, but you will also amplify our message, creating a ripple effect that carries the truth far and wide. Subscribe today and help reshape the narrative, available on the web, Android, and Apple.